Diesel smuggling has become a major issue in several countries, including Iran. Often hidden in underwater cargo ships, these smugglers transport millions of liters of stolen diesel to countries like India, China, and Nigeria. This operation generates billions of dollars in revenues for criminals, impacting the economies of these nations negatively. I want to discuss the reasons behind the proliferation of diesel smuggling in Iran and the challenges faced by the authorities in combating this issue. Diesel smuggling in Iran dates back to the Islamic Revolution in 1979, when the country faced a severe energy crisis. Oil prices increased exponentially, and the government decided to exploit national oil reserves through illicit means. Since then, the diesel smuggling trade has grown significantly. There are several factors that make diesel smuggling in Iran lucrative. Firstly, the fuel is cheaper than gasoline, making it a more attractive product for smugglers. Secondly, the transportation of diesel through underwater cargo ships reduces the risk of detection as it is difficult to monitor such routes. Lastly, the revenues generated from diesel smuggling can be used to fund illicit activities, such as weapons proliferation and corruption within the Iranian security forces. The Iranian government has been struggling to combat diesel smuggling due to several factors. First, the clandestine nature of the trade makes it difficult to track and apprehend the smugglers. Second, the smugglers have access to sophisticated technology that helps them evade security measures and avoid detection. Lastly, the revenues generated from diesel smuggling can be used to fund terrorist activities, making it a threat to regional security. In conclusion, diesel smuggling in Iran is a critical issue that impacts the economies of affected countries and threatens regional security. The proliferation of this crime stems from the economic challenges faced by Iran, coupled with the appeal of the illicit trade and the lack of effective government efforts to combat it.